What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. I'm back. I'm not going to talk about my absence, but I'm back. Expect an onslaught of videos, but we're going to get into this GTA uh, official gameplay trailer. Then I'll talk about it in a second. With Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. A sprawling, satirical reimagining of modern Southern California, covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin, a hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. Fuck. The less said about him, the better. Ah! Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. Got you. You've got support! Get us out of here! Roger that! This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. Too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize, planes to fly, clothes to buy, sports to play, nirvanas to pursue, oceans to dive, animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by, freaks to watch, meet, and befriend, I get the hell out of here. bounties to hunt, and on and on. How have you been? Oh. Simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game. To make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! Ah! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon.
All right. All I can say to that is, wow, man, that was ridiculous. I know I'm mad late breaking this thing down, but better late than never. Um, yeah, man, I wasn't expecting a four minute video, man. I was expecting like a minute something. Leave us wanting more. But they gave us a deep, deep trailer uh, showing official gameplay. And I'm going to just leave you with a couple key points that I notice. Um, and you guys could chime in on the comments. Number one was how massive this game is yo being from southern california i understand that's one of the draws of southern california is the landscape yo you live in southern california you're an hour away you normally no more than an hour away from the beach an hour away from the mountains an hour away from the desert anything you want to do anywhere you need to get doesn't take too long and gta 5 is covering that um, if you can see, man, they show the beach, how the water looks on the beach looks different with the waves crashing and how it does on a lake. Things like that, man. This game is the, the scale of it. Actually, I think is just really starting to hit home when they said bigger than, you know, San Andreas and Red Dead Redemption and GTA four combined. That's actually starting to hit home on how big that is going to be. And this gameplay trailer kind of said, oh, yo, when you in the city, you in the city. You drive out and you're in the, you know what I mean, the mountains and, and that landscape is going to be completely different. Um, yeah, man. I, I, I mean, that probably is one of the most exciting things is that you're going to want to touch every bit of landscape on this game. So how massive it was it stood out as number one. Now, they showed a thing in this trailer that really, really, I was, I'm not going to say I was worried about, but, uh, you know, it gave me some concerns on how changing characters will work. Um, and they actually did it exactly the way how I would have liked them to do it, how it shows the map pan up in the kind of like a Google Earth view and then go back down. Um, I think they hit it on the head. If that's the way it actually works and it's seamless and flawless, kudos to them, man, because I actually had doubts. I was actually a little bit skeptical uh, how they were going to pull it off as we're watching right now, how it pans up, pans over. I think that and on top of that, what they're really showing off. It's how massive the game is. We're going back to point number one. <laughs> yeah, how big the game is. Yeah, so how changing characters will work. Now, I do have a question. They did leave me with a question from watching that. When you change characters, when you've seen that scene of you changing from Franklin to Michael and Michael's bike riding with his son and his son says something about living another 30 years or something like that. Yo, how fresh will that be the more we play the game? How many times when we, when we change to Michael, will we see him bike riding with his son or will that just vary all the time? My guess and what I figure they should do is have a couple unique experiences that you only see once. And in the majority of the time, they're doing what they do. Uh, Trevor can be in a you know what I mean, high speed chase. That could be unique. But Michael could be on the couch doing whatever, chilling with the family. Nothing that's repetitive um, as far as a unique experience. And frankly, can be on a block. <laughs> yeah so i do have a question on you know how unique that will be um crazy yo another thing man did you guys see the new hud it looks like they're making it much easier to change weapons before how it worked wasn't very effective you got the pistol out you want to get to the rocket launcher you got to cycle through weapons you don't know the location you know what i mean all the while you getting shot <laughs> while you cycling through weapons now they got this look like they had this circle system um that looks like you're going to be able to jump from the AK-47 to a grenade with, the, you know what I mean, flick of the right stick is my guess. Don't know, but the new HUD looks uh, much better than the current system. Um, customization, they touched on that, which is very important, man. A lot of people didn't like GTA 4, straight up. They did not like it because San Andreas led to customize everything, and then GTA 4 took that all away, and people were kind of mad. So I think this is GTA uh, San Andreas realize on this gym and what they really wanted to do in gta san andreas you could tell they couldn't exactly do because of the limitations of the hardware and now they could take it all away with the customization with the cars the tattoos uh shows you could buy real estate all kinds of stuff man it's it's looking like yo this game is going to be customized and unique to you yo another thing we got to see how crazy trevor is man yo did y'all see him stuffing that foot in the toilet they said he is the most psychopathic character in gta history that's saying a lot with all the games we've seen and how crazy people are and trevor's the most psychopathic <laughs> all right so we got to see exactly yo he was stuffing a foot in the toilet yo crazy uh what else is they what oh they showed basically why they gave this game a number i read in an article i talked about it before is 
one to three character change, but another one, it's a heist game, and they show how you get to put together the different heists um, for each mission. It's going to be unique to your experience. If you can see one heist, they smoked the place out, looked like there was not a whole lot of confrontation, or you had the choice going in guns a-blazing. I'm sure Rockstar has thought this out properly, and each one is going to have its own repercussions that you're going to deal with. Yo, this is a game I'm not going to front. I might have to do two let's plays because <laughs> it looks like you're going to be able to play it so many different ways, man. Switching to one character's perspective during a mission or, yo, what if you want to, you know, drive the helicopter instead of shoot the gun out the helicopter? You know what I mean? That's going to be unique. You might have to play this game two or three times to just really feel the whole game. Um, yo, I tried to cram all that in and not be too long, man. I'm already at the almost 11 minute mark and I got much more to talk about. So look for more videos to come on this. But, man, it's. This trailer was off the chain. I'll get it to you guys another time. Peace.